Decathlon's becoming increasingly popular and it's increasingly being recognised as a force to be reckoned with in the general sporting retail sector. And a large part of their success, it's been due to the strategy of working with exclusive partners as well as working hard on developing their own brands. And by doing this, they can keep the margins down and these savings are subsequently passed on to the consumer. That's you and me. Thanks very much to Cathlon because over the years I've actually brought loads of their gear. This includes things like shorts, a poncho for the bike, swimming goggles, arm sleeves, oh, bike lights and even sunglasses. Oh and of course this t-shirt that I'm wearing. And I think they represent excellent value, I really do. As long as you're not a brand junkie, you're going to get a lot for your money when you go to Decathlon. So, all good then, right? Well, kind of. However, one of the biggest moans is that generally, the products, yes, they're good, but they tend to sit at the bottom to the lower middle end of the market. That's often okay. It's often all that's actually needed, but it'd be nice across their entire range to have a better choice at the higher end of the market and particularly with their cycling gear. Thankfully though, Decathlon, they seem to have been doing a little bit of mind reading because five years ago, they acquired Von Reisel and with that acquisition, they filled in that gap at the higher end of the market. And recently, with the introduction of this bike, things appear to have gone into overdrive. This year, at the start of 2024, Van Rysel, they've teamed up with the professional racing team AG2R, and they now supply the bikes and have become a co-sponsor. That's absolutely fantastic. It really is. In the process, they've managed to supply the cheapest bike on the world tour, and it's frankly punching well above its weight as far as price is concerned. Now, the bike in the photo, that's the Van Rysel PCR Pro. It's not what most people would consider cheap. However, considering the spec, and this is honestly a fully ready tour bike, I think it's an absolute bargain. So how much is it? Well, it's around £9,000, euros, dollars, and for that you get a fully spec'd out carbon frame French-made bike featuring full Dura-Ace Di2 group set with Swiss side wheels weighing in at a UCI friendly 6.9 grams. Fantastic. For a point of reference, you can expect to pay at least another 3,000 for a similarly put together bike from either a manufacturer like Specialized or Giant. But it doesn't end there because at this year's Tour de France, they also unveiled the new Aero FCR and it looks absolutely incredible. Wow, I want one. Amazing value. Realistically, it's true that there's very few people going to have £9,000, Euros, dollars to spend on this kind of bike. I really do get that. However, the kind of bikes they have at that lower, mid-level range are absolutely superb. I'm talking about bikes actually kitted out with Tiagra 105 Ultegra group sets. They're incredible value propositions. And I think what this bike does is what the Triban bike couldn't do. And I absolutely love the Triban. I think it's a great bike. But the ceiling, it was just too low for some people like myself that might want to spend a little bit more on a road bike. And that's where the introduction of the PCR Pro and the development of the whole brand of Van Riesel comes into play. That's what it was made to do. It was made to bridge that gap between the low middle end of the market right up to a tour ready bike. And it's done that superbly. In an interview courtesy of Paul Newman from Cycling Weekly, the Chief Marketing Officer of Van Riesel, he further clarified this strategy by stating, while cyclists might choose one of Decathlon's bikes as a first road bike, as they develop and want to upgrade their ride, they're looking to other brands. Decathlon wants that to stop. Very understandable. The truth is that at one point, when you're really into road cycling, which many of us are, you're going somewhere else. You want not only to help enthusiasts to learn to ride, but to get alongside them until the end of their experience, he says. That's so well put. I absolutely love this philosophy. 
Van Rysel's aim is to offer bikes that are the best in class at all levels. Great. So they can stop being the feeder brand to their competitors. It's a business strategy that makes sense and one that Decathlon has gone all in on. This is music to my ears, it really is. But what I also like is the fact that the strategy refers to clothing and accessories such as shorts, shirts, lights, helmets, all these kind of things. From the start of the year they've started to roll out these accessories into the stores and it's going to only intensify from this point on. Earlier this year I was able to buy a pair of Van Riesel cycling gloves. I'd not seen them in shops before and I purchased them I think in about January or February. They were quite a lot more expensive than the alternatives but my goodness the quality is really really good and that is exactly what I'm looking for. With the quality that high I don't mind paying a premium price and yeah I've been very happy with them. I've not got them here with me now but I can contest to the fact that the overall product it it's really good it really is. Just to emphasize the point you can see here there's a pair of Rock Rider Decathlon shorts. Now along with B Twins and Tribe and the familiar brands within Decathlon unfortunately I couldn't buy anything of a higher quality than these at the moment but happily Van Rysel shorts will be coming soon and this is exactly what the chief marketing officer is talking about he's talking about retaining customers like me who would otherwise go to look for other products now the shorts I've got here from Rock Rider they're fine for riding around just local areas but when I go for longer tours I need something higher quality than this and if I can't buy them at Decathlon I'm going to go elsewhere however when the new shorts come in from Van Rysel I'll tell you I'm going to be there. I applaud the direction Decathlon are moving in I really do but before I leave I want to briefly show you the specs of a couple of Van Rysel bikes that really got my attention at the middle lower end of the range. Now the first bike is the NCR CF Tiagra. Not surprisingly, it has a Tiagra group set. It's the kind of starter racing set from Shimano, but it's still Shimano. Even better though, it has a carbon frame. It weighs nine kilograms and it only costs 1,400 pounds. I mean, my goodness, it's very hard to find a bike of this kind of quality with this kind of frame at that price. Amazing value, and I think it looks really cool as well. My second choice is the NCR 105. Again, this has a Shimano group set, but it's 12 speed. Goodness me. Even better, it only weighs 8.8 .8 kilograms. The frame weight coming in at 1.2 kilograms. And the price, well, the price is incredible. It's £2,000. That is superb. Both of these bikes are excellent. Great value. They look great. And if you compare that to what you're going to pay elsewhere, well, I would say something from the likes of Trek, Specialized, Giant, you could expect to pay at least 50% more. Um, and, and that's a minimum. It really is. This is all wonderful news. It really is. But even better, over 2024 and 2025 they have another eight new bikes to complete their range. I can't wait. To sum up, I could wax lyrical about Van Riesel's incredible production processes. I could talk about their successes at the World Tour and how at the moment they're working hard to actually test and bring new products to market. But that's not what I'm going to do. What I want to focus on instead is the fact that Van Riesel's continued rise, including the development of their own store in store sites, the bigger decathlon branches, it's just a huge win for us value seeking cyclists looking for genuinely good quality together with high levels of customer support. Now, it doesn't matter if you're new to the sport or like me, you're an enthusiastic dreamer who wants higher quality products, you actually have a place to go all under one roof and for a great price. It doesn't mean that if I win the lottery, I won't be riding around on a Pinarello Dogma F12 next week. But in the meantime, 
I think I know where my money's going to be spent. Thanks to all of you that have made it this far. Take care and don't forget to like and subscribe. It honestly helps the channel out tons. Thank you very much.